The Astronaut Who Painted the Moon, written by Dean Robbins and illustrated by Sean Rubin. Lights flashed, a rocket rumbled. Alan Bean's dream was about to come true. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The rocket roared off the launch pad. Alan shook in his heavy spacesuit. The other astronauts were shaking too. Richard Gordon flipped switches on the control panel. That's a lovely liftoff, Pete Conrad shouted over the noise. The shaking stopped as the spacecraft gained speed. Alan was in outer space. He had trained for so long as an astronaut and a scientist, and soon he would walk on the moon. Alan gazed out the window, marveling at the shapes and the colors in space. The sky turned to black. The earth was a blue and white ball glowing in the darkness. The moon was many shades of gray. Its mountains and craters seemed bigger the closer he got. Alan loved to think about the way things looked. As a boy, he made model airplanes to hang in his room. Green for the wings, red stripes for the tail, yellow stars along the sides. He dreamed of being a brave pilot himself one day. Alan volunteered for Navy flight training. He learned to take off, soar through the air, and glide in for a smooth landing. The earth looked breathtaking from the cockpit. The white clouds above, the green fields below, the blue all around. Alan wished he could paint what he saw. He found an art class to teach him about patterns and forms. Alan dabbed his brush on canvas to paint a vase of flowers. His flowers didn't look exactly real, but he didn't want them to. They were brighter and bolder than real ones because he let his imagination take over. The painting showed how stunning the flowers looked through Alan's eyes, how they made him feel. The spacecraft flew 240,000 miles in four days. The moon was so close, Alan could see valleys and ridges. He and Pete got ready to walk on a new world. Alan strapped on an oxygen pack so he could breathe outside. He stepped through the hatch to the most amazing sight. The moon was barren, but also beautiful in its own way. Gray dust as far as he could see, thousands of black craters, hard white sunlight, and everything perfectly still. Alan and Pete pushed a red, white, and blue American flag into the dust. Alan puzzled over the strangeness of outer space. He and Pete took dozens of photographs. They set up scientific experiments to measure the moon's soil and gases. Even in his spacesuit, Alan was much lighter than on Earth. He had fun bouncing around on his tiptoes. He could run and run without getting tired. His boots made deep marks where no one had stepped before. The three astronauts zoomed back to Earth at 25,000 miles an hour. They splashed into the Pacific Ocean to end their awesome adventure. Alan's friends asked him about his time in space. What was it like up there? He tried to explain the moon's barren beauty, but words weren't enough, and his photographs just showed a grim and gloomy place. There was so much more to the moon than that, so much magic and mystery. How could Alan share his story so others would understand? He pulled out his paints and brushes. Alan knew he was the only artist ever to leave the earth, the only artist ever to see the moon up close. Maybe a painting could show how it felt to be in outer space. Alan began his work like a scientist. He built a model of the moon's surface and used an electric light as the sun. The model helped him paint the angles and shadows just right. 
Then Alan let his imagination take over. He added red and purple to the gray dust, blue and green to the black craters, yellow and orange to the white sunlight. The moon didn't look exactly real, but Alan didn't want it to. The painting showed how stunning outer space looked through his eyes and how it made him feel. He hoped others would feel the same thing, the wonder of walking on a new world. Alan liked his moon painting so much, he did another one, and another, and another after that. He mixed even brighter, bolder colors on his palette. Could he add real pieces of outer space to his paintings? Alan tried stamping them with astronaut boots. He scratched them with tools he'd used on the moon. He sprinkled dust from his spacesuit onto the wet paint. The surface grew as rough and rugged as the moon itself. A museum displayed Alan's paintings for everyone to see. Other astronauts came to remember their own awesome adventures in space. Boys and girls came too. They marveled at the shapes and colors. They felt the wonder of walking on a new world. Some dreamed of being brave astronauts themselves one day. Others dreamed of being great artists. And some dreamed of being both.